Hey guys, it's Doc and today I'm going to talk to you about your exterior AC drain tube and moving the water. So hold on. Hey guys, like once again it's early morning but it's still hot and I'm going to talk to you about your AC drain which most of us have. An important note on this is the majority of houses have three quarter inch PVC drain. Um, I have seen once in a while a half inch, but most of them are three quarter. You know, this is a uh, $5 fix that you can do at Lowe's or Home Depot. There's lots of adaptations you can do to it. I'm going to show you one way to do this real quick. So I think we all have, we all have this little drain tube here, which needs to quite often be cleaned out. We all have that drain tube and it leaks down here and it is a ton of water that comes out of here when your AC is running during the summer. As an example, the other day I went ahead and I just put this little uh, gutter mover, gutter guard thing and I want you to see what happened. See if you can see that all the water that's come off of there that have been running down over here into my foundation. Not good, not good at all. So today, all I'm gonna do is just show you a real quick way to do this. We work with PVC at the shop a lot. Um, this way you don't have to bend anything. This is a nasty old piece here. So all I did was I went to Lowe's and you're gonna buy a uh, 90 degree slip slip, three quarter inch, if you have three quarter inch. And what you can do is just get a piece of PVC pipe and run it over here, drain it out wherever you want. That's one way to do it. Or the other way to do it, let me show you, let me grab my other pipe. So what I did was, is I want to kind of camouflage this, so I've painted this black. Uh, if I wanted to actually camouflage it against the brick, I'll probably just throw some dirt on it or throw it, make it a different color. So I have a little three inch piece of PVC. going into another 90 degree and I'll show you why I do that versus a 45 let me show you real quick so do not glue these by the way I'm just gonna put this in but what this does is this allows me to change this angle that way and also change the angle here does that make sense so I can move this angle up which I don't want I want to drain down and if I want to move it, I can move it. So now I can get rid of this ugly thing. And then if I want to just put some mulch or something over that. I know it's kind of hard to see. Let me show you. There you go. So there it is now. So now I can just cover that with mulch, do whatever I want. Uh, again, now this water is going to drain out here onto the hot, dry cement, and it's going to dry up. Let me show you again without the shadow hitting it. So I can move this up and down, and then I can move it also left to right. Again, do not do not glue it. And instead of all my water coming down here, now it's going to run out, come down my driveway, and dry off. I know it doesn't seem like much, but it is tons of gallons and gallons that goes right down there and soaks your soil. Anyways, guys, that's a cheap little fix. Uh, two 90 degree slips, three quarter inch piece of PVC. Cut it with a saw. No problem. Later. Now.